heard this week. Now, uh, if you are a, a court watcher, if you uh, follow the newspaper reports of our oral arguments, you may have noticed that during one of the arguments last week, one of my colleagues made a very unusual remark about his underpants and about things that he put in his underpants when he was back in college. Anyway, my, my law clerks responded to that by uh, giving me a book, and, and I, I'm looking to see who published it. I don't think I inside the pictures. And the fact that they gave it to me probably may say something about what they think about my intellectual level. But anyway, <laughs> it, is, it is The Adventures of Captain Underpants. <laughs> struck a note, this is how it begins. It was a time of darkness and despair, D-I-S-P-A-R-E, uh, for planet Earth. Bad guys had taken over the streets, and all of the superheroes of the world were too old to fight me. Then came along a new improved extra strength superhero. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Captain Underpants. Anyway. <laughs> This sort of captured some of what I was thinking, but uh, <laughs> the, the, the old superheroes like Ronald Reagan and Elon, and but uh, if you attend an event like uh, like the event tonight, you can't help but realize that ISI is growing a new generation of superheroes. So there is there is cause for the kind of optimism that was so characteristic of, of President Reagan. ISI's mission is, uh, is so critical because of what is going on on our college campuses. And even lower than that, what is going on in our high schools. Um, a couple of years ago, I took a look at the, the quiz that ISI has been giving college students about American government and American history. I don't know how many of you have looked at that. It's available on the ISI website. But I encourage you to do that. It is. It is depressing. Um, the survey showed, or in the most recent uh, version that I looked at, the survey showed that most college seniors do not know that the words, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, come from the Declaration of Independence. Most seniors do not know that the Federalist Papers were written to support the ratification of the Constitution, or that the power of judicial you was confirmed in Marbury versus Madison, where that federalism is a political system where state and national governments share power, or that the Bill of Rights explicitly prohibits establishing an official religion for the United States. The last time I checked, the average grade for a college student was 54. Now, with the current grade inflation, I don't know how that translates into a letter grade today, but back when I was in college, that was it's interesting to note that questions on the ISI quiz, which today's college seniors cannot answer, are not harder than the similar questions that are asked of applicants for United States citizenship. And you can look at those questions as well on the website of the INS or whatever, what it's called now, the US Citizenship and Immigration Service. Uh, you can take a look at those questions. Their questions are, are no easier uh, than the ones that the college students can answer. For example, one of the questions that may be asked by someone who wants to become a United States citizen is to name the three branches of our government. Now, uh, a Zogby poll of all Americans, including, I assume, primarily natural-born American citizens, showed that less than half of the people who answered could name the three branches of our government. Although 74% could name 